Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about IGN.com. How was it built? All right. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for me to continue doing this series of how did the developers build this website? All right. So there's a new series that I've been doing. Last one that I did was Disney Plus. And what this is going to do is help you guys out understand how is it that this websites are built or just basically uh, an overall, uh, you know, overhead view of what type of technologies they use on their websites okay so we're gonna start with ign here and let's just go into it okay so if we go into wapalizer we can see that they're using widgets from facebook and twitter they're also using google analytics they're also using comscore and chart beats okay these are analytics tools it just helps them be able to track the users and see what users are actually seeing where the traffic is coming from etc okay if you guys don't know about google analytics definitely check out my website i have a course on that on how to use it then from there they're also using react uh, another thing that they're using is an issue tracker for uh, the website called Sentry. And then the backend framework is Node.js, but they're using the framework of uh, Next.js, which is a backend framework that basically works with React to create server side uh, rendering for the website and it just it communicates better between node.js and react okay especially if you are a react developer it just makes your life easier okay definitely check them out those guys at, at next.js they have a lot of companies um that are actually using next.js and you know in the next few uh videos that i'm probably gonna do about the series i, I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of big companies are using next.js it's just it makes your life easier for you know having everything in, in the same place without having to deal with building everything yourself okay it's always good to use a framework you know sometimes some of you guys might think like man you should build everything from scratch and it's like yes you should do it one time build things from scratch just to see how things work behind the scenes but when you are working in production and you're working with a big team the worst thing that you can do is like have like custom code everywhere and nobody can understand you know how to work with your project because we don't understand how you think okay i hate when you go to a company like that and the first thing that you'd be like oh uh, there's some guy who was there in 1990 well we built this in pearl custom made you know there's no framework there's no nothing i'm like what's the documentation well you know just just look at the functions and <laughs> it's like bro <laughs> you have code here from you know 2001 we can't keep up with all of the things that you added okay but definitely use something like next.js all right uh they're also using webpack and webpack is used for being able to bundle up uh, all of the code as far as you know things like react maybe they're using sas most likely they're using sas or maybe they're using uh what's the name of this uh style components maybe right we can't really tell right now but we're gonna go more into the details all right uh it says programming language node.js programming language is not a you know node.js is not a programming language okay but what they're using is javascript for their back end okay uh, advertising networks they're using double click for publishers this is part of google ads so if you're creating a, a website or web application definitely look into double click it's pretty much google adwords but you know with more features then from there they're also using google tag manager and google tag manager allows you to add a whole bunch of different uh you know tracking uh tags and, and even analytics itself right it just makes your life easier so you don't have to have like let's say you have a facebook pixel you have a, a tracking system from another uh, website or another library and, and you have all of these things making your your website slow okay you might just use something like google tag manager and it actually uh spreads all that information to all of those different third party uh plugins or or libraries that you might be using okay another thing that we can tell is that they're using apollo so apollo is used with graphql so most likely they're using graphql in the back end all right now one thing that you're going to notice too 
is that they're also using uh, lazy loading. Okay, you can't really tell that much from here, but let me see if refresh. Okay, as we scroll, things starts loading up and starts showing up. You see, and it's pretty much just like an infinite scroll where the more that you keep going down, the more different articles you're gonna get. So it's just pulling up data as you scroll. All right, and it's, it's also good because it makes your, your website actually faster since it doesn't have to load all of the, the information or you know the data or even the images at once. It just loads it as it needs to be loaded. All right, now I couldn't really find any jobs out there for IGN. Okay, I don't think that they're hiring at the moment, so I couldn't find out uh, much information, but I did find this website called IGN.com slash codeful, which is pretty much like a competition for people to be able to win an internship at IGN. And from what I got out of this was that IGN uses a whole bunch of different technologies, right? So they pretty much use PHP, JavaScript, Ruby on Rails, Scala, Java, MySQL, MongoDB, Redis, and Swift okay and like they say here that's not even all of them all right so just like most companies nowadays there's gonna be a whole bunch of different languages that's being used and technologies that's being used to build the infrastructure of the company okay because sometimes you might see in the front end hey they're using javascript they're using node.js they're using something like next.js but maybe the the tools behind the scenes right the in-house tools are using something like uh ruby on rails or maybe they're using something like scala as the back end for it or maybe java right for the android applications right and of course they're using swift for the ios application now as you can see they have mysql and mongodb and redis and those are different databases so different areas might need different type of databases okay so that's something that's pretty cool and also what was cool about this whole thing is that it kind of gave me an inside look on, on the things and the skills that they're looking for to hire somebody or even give them an internship right of course they have some uh, BS little test over here right for you to uh, <laughs> to go through right the, you know this type of companies that corporate they they love throwing some algorithms at you and, and throwing things that you see if you could solve them now the real important part is right here okay so for somebody who wants to do backend they say hey using this API pull a list of content from the RSS feed you must use the RSS feed endpoint not the JSON feed build a service to pull the store of the content right from the api in a mysql database explains how are you storing and normalizing indexing the data a bonus build a service you think will make sense that uses your database defend your proposals okay not bad all right then for the front end they say using this api put a list of content and comment counts build a web page that displays the content and matches this design okay so if we click here, this is what they wanted the, the front end guys to actually create. Most likely with something like React or Angular, okay? Very simple, you pull up some data, okay? Create all of this uh, UI uh, interface here, right? And then from there you show the, the comments, okay? You can choose between the videos and the articles, and if you click down here, you can load more, okay? This is really what they are actually doing on the day-to-day -day things right because this is <laughs> this is the thing right sometimes all these companies they'll give you like something stupid as this right where they'll be like well we're gonna give you a grid we're gonna give you a little map and i want you to create some type of algorithm to be able to find your way to the end of the the map right uh, of the puzzle the little maze right to me i always find that shit stupid because most of the things that they're gonna be doing at the job actually has to do with this so sometimes somebody might not be 
you know, up to par with their algorithm skills and, and things like that. But they're actually really good with actually doing things that's going to be done on the real job. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Sometimes that's like like a little pet peeve of mine. Like, where I just get, I get annoyed. I'm like, why are you putting people to, to do this, right? And some people might say, well, this is going to show if you're a really good developer, a really good engineer. I find this shit to be a waste of time, right? This is literally a waste of time, right? You could come here and say, hey, guys, build this, okay? This is what you're going to be doing 24-7, okay, on the job. And if you can build this, hey, welcome to the team. That's it. <laughs> Keep it simple, okay? Uh, another thing that they have here was for apps. Said, hey, using this uh, API, pull a list, uh, content and comment counts. Build a native app, iOS or Android, that displays the content and matches this design. Okay, so pretty much this is what they wanted you to create if you are an iOS or Android uh, developer. Okay, which is actually pretty simple to do. But it's cool that, you know, they're actually showing you some things that you will be doing on the job. Because sometimes, guys... You know, there's guys that can, they can knock this out. They could go in and they spend so much time in, in, in the algorithm game, right? And, and going through the whole process that they can knock this out. But in reality, they wouldn't be able to do any of these things. Okay. This is like real world projects, right? Okay. A lot of times I see this happening with like, uh, young college students where they just graduate. Like they'll knock this out. Like right now you give this to a brand new college graduate. He'll knock this out, but he won't be able to build this because those years that he was in school, he wasn't really building projects. Okay. So there it is guys. So anyways, man, if you guys found this uh, video interesting and, and exciting, let me know and, and tell me what other website would you like me to do and, and, and to figure out what technologies and what programming languages are they using, okay? And also to give you a little insight uh, inside of like, hey, what type of uh, job positions they might have and, and what they're hiring for and maybe what should you focus on okay so if you like this type of content guys please subscribe to my channel uh subscribe to this channel click the little bell click the notification bell too okay stop slacking click on the little bell okay and then also guys by the way right now i'm having a crazy sale on codingphase.com if you don't know what codingphase.com is basically it's me teaching you guys how to code teaching you guys everything that you need to get a job okay i give you guys all the, the resources and everything that you need to be able to uh, get a job by a small business a uh, corporation right mid-size enterprise the whole shebang right I try to give you guys as much of the knowledge that I have in my brain and everything that I've done that has guaranteed me to get jobs. I'm giving it right back to you guys here on codingphase.com. And right now you can get 50% off on everything. Okay. Everything from the monthly plan to the yearly plus to the lifetime, everything is 50% off. Or if you just want to get something like a, a one-off course, you get 50% off. All you have to do is click on the links below. Okay, they're right there. They're going to be in the comment section. They're going to be there on the description. And then also, if you want, you could just use the coupon code called Black Friday. So you just go Black Friday, just like that, 19. You use that coupon code, you golden. That's it. All right, guys. So I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Peace.